Hey guys, I just want to give you a quick look at the new features in OpenJS Grid 1.6. Uh, this is a minor release because 1.5 just came out, so this is just going to have a couple extra features and uh, quite a few bug fixes um, that have kind of accumulated over the other versions. Just uh, little things that you know you could trigger by doing certain things, whatever. So a lot of those bugs have been fixed. Um, so some of the features include. Uh, you can now click on the full number here. So if I click that, it'll actually load all the results in the grid. So this is a super quick way to load all the results. Um, you can actually add a refresh button now. So if I open these grids and I say, where are we at? Uh, let's go to this bare bones guy. And let's say um, refresh button and set that to true. And save and then refresh. And now I've got a refresh button, so I can actually just click that and that'll refresh the grid. So just if you want to give your users the ability to do that, you can. Um, all the grids are now globally equalized uh, when you resize the page. So now the grids actually stay in shape when you resize them, which is nice. Um, we've got, uh, like I said, a couple fixes here. Um, we've got a type of money. So let's take a row, for example. Um, this one's already set. Let me show you what that's doing. So if I uh, come down here and say currency, okay, so order total. So look, at, check out this column. See how it's got dollar signs in it? What you do is you say currency equal to a, to a money sign. I'm supporting uh, US dollars, yen, euro, British pound. I think it's all I'm supporting, but they have ASCII versions of their characters. All right, sorry, Unicode versions, so I'm actually able to use these characters. I think I can do like that and save and refresh and then there you go it's putting it out and what it also do is it recalculates these so that these actually still work and they're actually in the form of money so uh, it's actually really nice to have the ability to have currency okay so currency awesome um, let's see what else is cool uh, the save location so uh, for some of these grids that are long, you can actually have two save locations. So see how I've got it at the bottom and the top? Uh, so that's uh, up here in... Okay, so actually that okay, so that save button is actually in two places because it's in the pager location both. So this is one pager, this is another pager. So what I can do is... So that's pager location, that's from last time. But we actually have save location, which we can say... Um, we can say title, which will put it up here in the title and you can say both which is going to put it both in the pager and the title so in this case there's three save buttons okay and you could say uh, title did I call it pa I think I said pager I think that's the default yes yeah, so the default is pager right uh, so yeah so pager right and then you can also have title which puts it in the title bar like that, so save and add at the top. So it's really nice to have. Um, we also have a way to reroute the add button. So let's say you have a grid that's not editable, and I'm going to hop over to here to show you this. Um, so here's a grid that's not editable, and uh, you know what? Just because you can see it now, I'll go ahead and go into it. We got images now. So images is a big deal. Um, it's really easy to set. So basically, what you would do is let me hop over to a different site here um, for these kits. Uh, what you do is you just say type equals image and basically what you want to have if you don't have that you want to have these these images linked to or these these images as oops, uh, let me show in file browser upload this page right so you want to have these be actual links like if it was to load this as the image source that it would actually load an image so that's what I'm doing here so by adding type equals image to the grid I've now got them here and something even cooler is that I can actually still add a link so let's take a look at a grid that has that set up and that would be tutorials and you can see all these images that are in the tutorials I'm going through fast here because I don't want you to see them all but you can actually click these these as well so you actually ha can have link set on an image as well so that's pretty cool um, so images are really cool and I guess from the back end perspective if you're curious of how that works um, do I have that open so that would be on kits um, so kit slash do list yeah I'll show you grids kits do list what I'm doing is I'm actually concatting in the call 
to actually get the correct image location because the image location in full is not stored in the database. So you can actually do that here and bring it out. So that's how images work. So back to what I was saying, if you, um, so let's go to kits. So this is an editable grid, but I have set the add location. So if I go back to the kits page, I have set the add button to actually a, a link. Okay, so because I don't want inline editing on this grid, I mean, I do want inline editing, but I don't want the add button to add a new row. There's actually a whole manager involved with adding these kits. So you can actually click add, and it actually calls a method that you've said instead of actually adding that blank row. So I've got this whole grid here um, with, that with data in it that I can add. And then, you know, just bleh. And then I'll just save that. And then I'm going to delete it. So then, so I've got a kit. And now I've got that blank kit that I can delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Blah. And again, I'm using, I'm doing that via the delete confirm, and I'm telling it what column I am. Again, that's from last time. So you can see you can reroute the use of the add button to your own methods, which is awesome. So we talked about that, 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 and that, and that. Yep. So among that, we have all those fixes. So yeah, that's that's all I wanted to show you. So again, not a big release, um, you know, but we added images and money. Um, and some different location changes. So you can use those 1.6 and that should be out shortly.